What's going on everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys a review of the Paris Saint Germain collaboration with Jordan Brand on the Air Jordan 4 Retro. This pair dropped on October 10th for 225 US dollars or $300 here in Canada. The official colorway for this shoe is white, neutral gray, black and Bordeaux. And this continues the partnership between football or soccer club Paris Saint Germain with Jordan Brand. Before we look at the shoes, here's a quick look at the box. And these come in a special edition box. We have this beautiful Bordeaux color at the very top. We have the PSG logo at the top in white. And then taking off the lid, you can see that there is the special PSG and Jordan Brand co-branded paper. And then the inside, we have this grass graphic, which of course represents soccer or football. As for the shoes, this is your classic Air Jordan 4 construction. Starting things off with the toe box, here we have this very nice white colored leather. And this leather had very good quality and a very nice softness, which I really liked. Surrounding the front toe cap, there's this overlay of this gray colored leather, which similar to the white leather also feels very nice and premium. Stitched onto the lateral side, we have this tag which has the word Panam, which according to my Google research is a slang term for Paris. Moving downwards, the two lace crowns on either side of the shoe, this is done in this Bordeaux colored TPU. And then in between this, we have the signature netting, which is done in this white finish. We have this black colored triangular wing, which is done in this black colored TPU. And while the leather at the bottom mudguard has a very genuine feel to it, it feels very nice to the touch. In contrast, the leather that covers the upper portion of the shoe, this has much more of a synthetic feel to it. And it looks like they've incorporated an artificial tumbled look to it and has much more of a stiffer feel compared to the leather at the bottom. On the back heel, we have this Bordeaux colored heel tab. And in the middle, instead of Nike Air or Jumpman Air, we have the Paris Saint Germain logo in black. In addition, we have these black horizontal lines at the very top of the heel tab. And then flipping it over to the inside, here we have the number 75, which again, based on my research, is supposed to represent Paris's zip code. For the laces, these come with a flat white colored lace, but they do give you these metallic gold colored lace tips, which was a nice added touch. Underneath this, we have the tongue. So the bottom half of the tongue is covered in that same netting that was found on the sides of the shoe. And at the very top, we have this white colored synthetic leather and overlaid on top, we have this black tag with the Jumpman Flight branding in white and Bordeaux. The back of the tongue is lined in this Bordeaux color and we have Air Jordan branding stitched on in upside down fashion. Taking out the insoles, these come with a all black colored polyurethane insole. And on the heel, we have the French phrase, ici c'est Paris, which I believe stands for, this is Paris. The upper of these Jordan 4s sits atop this full length polyurethane foam midsole. This is painted in this matte Bordeaux finish at the top and white at the bottom. And underneath the heel, there's this cutout, which exposes the aerosol unit that's found within the midsole. Turning this pair over to the bottom, here we have your classic Air Jordan 4 outsole. This is done in a combination of white, Bordeaux, and black colored rubber, and it's finished off with this Bordeaux colored Jumpman in the center. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this shoe. In terms of sizing, I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side, and for Air Jordan 4s, I wear between a 10 or a 10 and a half. For these guys, I got these in my true size, size 10, and they fit me perfectly. I didn't feel any discomfort in the pinky toe area of this shoe, which is where I sometimes have issues with some of my Jordan 4s. So for these guys, I had no problems. I'd recommend sticking true to size. Next up in terms of comfort, the Air Jordan 4 in general isn't the most comfortable shoe out there, but it's gonna be fine for just an everyday casual use sneaker. These guys feel exactly the same pretty much. There is a polyurethane insole, which does give you a little bit more comfort, but for the most part, it's a pretty firm feeling shoe on foot. It feels very stable and very low to the ground but it's not gonna be one that's super soft and one that's super comfortable. Last but not least, quickly touching upon the quality and the craftsmanship on this pair. Overall, I'd say that Jordan Brand did a pretty good job. For the most part, the materials were pretty much on point. I didn't love the synthetic leather at the very top, but the rest of the shoe felt pretty decent. And from a craftsmanship standpoint, the paint job on my pair was pretty good. I didn't notice any visible flaws. So all in all, it was pretty good. I just don't know if it was worth 300 Canadian dollars, which is a price hike from your normal Jordan 4. With all that being said, now let's lace these up and I'll show you guys how these look on feet.
Overall, I'd say that this is my favorite PSG Jordan collab so far. I think they did a really good job taking the classic look of the Jordan 4, swapping out the traditional colors for this Bordeaux color, and then incorporating small touches that represent PSG, like on the back heel and this tag on the lateral side. So I really like this because it's not screaming PSG in your face, and it's still a very wearable shoe, whether or not you're a fan of soccer. So let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel about this PSG Air Jordan 4. Of all the PSG and Jordan collabs so far, how do you rank this one compared to the rest? And for those that manage to grab a pair of these, is this going to be something that you're going to hold on to? Is it something you're going to rock? Or is it more for trade bait or something you're looking to flip? If you guys enjoyed watching this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram at sgo8. Check out my Twitter at sean.go and visit my website at seangoca So until next time, thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video and I'll catch you guys all in my next review.